Humanity was a mistake. I've said this many times before, and I'm here to prove it once again with another Dr. Phil video. You're ugly. You're disgusting. I'm gonna kill you. Give me $200. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. <laughs> Big brain. Are you delusional? Do, are, do you suffer from a mental illness? Yeah, whoever patched this together is definitely going to the ranch. Meme review. I stopped doing these because they all get demonetized. But I want to do it! Ready to lose some brain cells? Let's get it. Stop! PewDiePie pixeling out today. It's finally out. Sorry to interrupt the video. I just I need to people to know about this. Outer Minds did an amazing job. We already got amazing feedback on the game. I, it's really cool to see. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Download link in the description. On with video. I remind you at the end as well. Oops. We like to make videos online that just kind of push the boundaries. The purpose in our videos is mostly just boundary pushing content right there. My God. <laughs> The forefront of entertainment. To make people laugh, but also kind of freak them out a little bit. We both have had videos go massively viral. The attention is well loved. Is that Jeffree Star's rejected son or something? <laughs> what is that? I walked into the store with Bamarin and you know, we found an ice cream. I opened it up, licked it. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Oh, whoa, that's so epic. Wow. Gosh, I hate this kind of stuff. It's like when they do these videos. Where, where's the one where they spill milk or whatever? And it's like, you're not funny. It's not funny. Gallon smashing prank. Haha, ha, look how funny. Damn, so many people do this. All right, thank you, Hannah. Your kids have probably seen this online. A prank that's sweeping the nation, creating a mess in one grocery store after another. Well, now an Omaha grocery store is caught up in that viral video, calling police on a 21-year-old man who Good. quickly found out the joke is on him. A Hy-Vee employee knows about milk She's smashing gonna do it. and says she became <laughs> suspicious when she saw a group of guys carrying a couple gallons of milk and a video phone. I mean, it's humor for kids these days, I guess. The no, ideas. it's no kids doesn't think it's fun. No one thinks this is funny. This is why I'm a boomer. <laughs> Well, police cited the 21-year-old with criminal mischief, which is a misdemeanor. He faces up to six months in jail and a $1,000 yes! fine. Send him to jail and the ranch. All of it. God, I hate this stuff. Anyway, back to Dr. Phil. Sorry. <laughs> I decided to drink mouthwash and gargle it back into the bottle and put it back on the shelf. No! No! Elite! Death sentence! I'm gonna say death sentence. We need to bring it back. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad I don't use mouthwash. I never understood. Why would I need to use mouthwash? Actually, I don't care. Don't answer that. Actually, I just got it answered right in front of me. It's a yeah. you spit it back. <laughs> classic. It wasn't classic. What do you... Why do they talk like that? Stop it. Stop it. Stop that. Stop that. I've been saying this, I don't know how many times that we need to send kids off to islands. Survival of the fittest. We made it too easy for children, basically. We need to go back to our roots. PD5 for president. When we did our videos, we actually paid for the products. We did this because we want our faces out there. We wanted attention. But why? But why? Okay, so they paid for the product, thank God. <laughs> we wanted attention. These kids that want attention so badly, they don't even care if they get bad backlash. Oh, it's so iconic. It's so cool. There was literally no other reason besides us literally just wanting to be famous. Right after we made our viral videos, we just posted them as soon as possible and it went crazy. The next morning when I woke up, 30 million views. It went insane. Millions of views. I was literally just sitting on my bed, scrolling, scrolling through notifications oh over and over. And oh, people going, look at these idiots. These fucking morons. But I love it. Look how much they pay attention to me. Finally, I've got the recognition. This is so awesome. Like, Jesus. It went to 18 million by the end of the night. 18 million. That's so awesome. A lot of consequences came with these videos. I actually got fired from my job. I'm oh, great. banned from Walmart. <laughs> it's Walmart, Jeffree Star. Epic. <laughs> banned from Walmart. Lost your job. But it's got 18 million reviews of people saying I'm a dumbass. Oh, this is awesome. Mom, you don't understand. And I got banned from Instagram for about a month and a half. I opened up my social media. I like how he says it like it was so undeserved. Like, I got banned? Like, 
This is so hard for me. I, I got fired from my job and all these bad things. Thousands of death threats in my DMs of people genuinely wanting to hurt me. Thousands. Thousands of death threats. They just kept coming. Someone's like, death threats doesn't mean anything. <laughs> if you get a thousand death threats and you're still alive. <laughs> Sorry. All right, moving on. Police actually showed up at my job, but luckily I made sure to keep the receipt in my wallet because I'm smart like that. Yeah, everyone thinks you're real smart. <laughs> Police station for five hours. Every five hours! I love how they say all this, like it was so hard for them. I only have to go for five hours. I feel myself doing something illegal, but I still- Five hours, can you believe it? We made our mark on the influencer community. We realized that it was the place for us and we don't ever want to leave. We're no, definitely please. not going to stop here. <laughs> if anything, we're just going to get more and more followers. I feel like they are trolling though. They're clearly playing up all this. If, you, if you're going to this length to get famous, they just, they're going to play okay. into whatever Dr. Phil thing now, ever. You did this by design, right? Created. Yes. You wanted to get, you wanted it to go viral. You wanted to get millions of people to look at this. And now we did, yeah. Yeah. And how do you monetize that? <laughs> this is all that's the issue. Legitimately, how much do you think they're making? You get one viral, viral video and it's not monetized. It's not going to make you anything. I'm curious what he'll say. Well, I mean, after going massively viral and having thousands of celebrities tweet about you and talk about you for weeks straight, I mean, it's pretty easy for brands to reach out and pay you. I mean, fair enough, but you didn't make anything either. Yeah, we actually both have running ads on Snapchat right now. You've uh -huh. probably seen them. Yeah. You probably, you probably seen the ads, Dr. Phil. <laughs> There's so many ads, it's hilarious. <laughs> you probably seen them, Dr. Phil. I can't stop laughing over the ads that you have seen. Oh. And so you make <laughs> money, like money to live on money. Yeah, lots of it. So <laughs> yeah, lots of it. That means you make no money. <laughs> you know, if they made money, they would say how much money they made. This is what all the kids do. They love to flaunt how much money they're you making. You had negative backlash from this, though. That's all that we got was negative backlash. And money. <laughs> it was That's all. Really it. You've been bullied online. <laughs> yeah, like how no, so? No, there were people online. on social media acting like they knew me and like being like, oh, I used to be friends with him. Oh, he's blah, 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 blah. And they would get like 200,000 likes on the tweet. Okay. It's oh, like that's so unfair. That is so unfair. They got 200,000 likes on their tweets and it's about you. Literally, <laughs> if you talk about me, you can go viral for a day because that's how relevant I am. Does that mean I'm going to go viral? <gasps> oh my God. This is so exciting. <laughs> Friendship has been strained with Bamron. Lars has a habit of taking credit and not giving credit where credit is due. But what y'all need to know is the ice cream video was my idea. Oh my God, it was his idea. And he didn't give credit of the idea. This kind of stuff makes me feel like they're just trolling, clearly. They're still there. They're still making videos together. Who gives a sh That's a good thing. Yeah, I yeah. mean, that's why my nails are in the video. I had to be a part of it. Yeah. Okay. Your nails are in the video because I hand you the ice cream, but I'm the one in the video, so it doesn't matter whose idea it was. You're lucky I even recorded it. I'm more relevant than you, so I'm not going to talk about you. Okay, but I constantly give you video ideas. Like I didn't come on here to fight you. Like, we can talk about this. Yeah, they're so obviously just trolling. I love this. Two Gen Zers. Yeah, you think Boomer is an insult now, huh? This is your culture. You created this. Walmart Jeffrey! We went massively viral, really? Because I've never seen them. Yeah, me neither. Like 18 million, even if they ha have 18 million views, that's like nothing. Do you think today. that this is modeling bad behavior for like really young people? It's easy to go viral. You just have to make sure you're not going to get arrested. Great answer. <laughs> what the hell? You didn't even know. Do you think it's bad behavior, modeling bad behavior for children? It's easy to go viral. I'm the smart, I'm smart like that. Do you think that... <laughs> This is modeling bad behavior for like really young people. It's easy to go viral. You just have to make sure you're not going to get arrested. And we're not like telling other people to do it. You say you want to inspire LGBTQ kids, right? Yeah. And you want to inspire them how? Yeah, please. <laughs> Even his friend is like, well, yeah. Well, basically I want to build the platform first and I'll kind of do anything it takes to do get there, but yeah, we know that. You don't have to say that. I just want to show people that there is someone out there like them and you can kind of be crazy. 
<laughs> Look, kids, you can be LGBT and be a dumbass. It's possible. So be LGBTQ and a good person. A good person. Yes, that's what everyone thinks you are. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. And what do y'all's families think about you doing these stunts, these pranks? Personally, mine don't love it, but it's not going to stop me because it's getting me somewhere, obviously. Right. How about you? I mean, I don't talk to my family. Why not? They're irrelevant. Oh! They're <laughs> mom, you're so irrelevant. You don't have any followers, mom. Why should I talk to you? Irrelevant? None of them have followers. If they got followers or got rich, I'd probably talk to them again. Hang on a minute. Did you just say I don't talk to my family because <laughs> they don't have followers? If they had followers, they'd be here right now. You talk about your mother? I mean, my mom has more followers than my sister. It's your mother. What do you, what, what do you mean she might, what do you care if she has followers or not? It's your mother. What? Can anyone tell me like what I would talk to my mom about if she's not gonna be making me relevant? God, this is so cringe. I almost can't even watch. <laughs> The reason why it's so cringe is because he's clearly pretending. Like, he thinks he's so epic. Oh, God, it's so bad. If he was genuine, I probably wouldn't have cringed as much. I don't know why. Yeah, like, hi, Mom. Now I have a career and I'm famous. Like, that's what happens when you get famous. You cut people off. You're not famous and you don't have a career. No one's going to give a shit. That one video really went through their heads, didn't it? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Seriously? And everyone's upset with it. Maybe because you guys aren't relevant either, so you don't understand. Ooh, you don't get it! <clears throat> scum bunnies! You're just scum bunnies! Maybe I'm just, I'm out of sync, I guess, because I didn't know you till today, and if you got to wear an... Ooh, uh, Dr. Phil! No, I'm not, I'm not trying to, I, I, I'm, no, 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 I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just not in the big, I'm not big on, I get uh, it. you know. Because all these people already knew me, right? Oh. oh. <laughs> but, I mean, I've had the same, I've had the same secretary for 45 years. I've had the same account for 45 years. I've had people that have been in my life, I don't cut people off. Well, you were famous, you were Dr. Phil. So you didn't need well, to. not 45 years ago. He's big headed. He just likes to cut people off for fun. He's ruined a few of my relationships as well. You know what I found? It's the bigger the star, the smaller the ego. Um, I don't have an ego. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I don't have an ego, okay? My mom is just irrelevant. It's not my fault. Maybe if she ate ice cream <laughs> out of the fridge in Walmart. She could be epic like me too. You know, I'd really like to hear from you guys about whether you think the internet overall is good or bad. Uh, you know, we've just been looking at people. Bad. It's definitely bad, Dr. Phil. I can answer that for you. I'm just waiting for some of these Gen Z kids and come up and sit, call Dr. Phil a boomer. That's when I'll come in and punch them to death. I will do it. Dr. Phil, if you need me backstage to take one of these kids out, I'm happy to do it. I know you're not allowed to punch them. All right, the second person of this segment was this, uh, my beautiful, smart, 20-year-old daughter is obsessed with becoming famous viral star. Damn, those teeth are white, huh? She's obsessed about becoming a famous viral star. For the last year, I've been watching my daughter's life unravel right before my eyes. Now she wants to pursue her life as a rapper. Listen, oh, I'm epic. a young girl oh, from God. the trenches. I feel like she's- No, <laughs> why? Can they just stop? At least they now might- like, no one likes Cardi B. You don't even want to be Cardi B. No one wants to be Cardi B. God, people are desperate to be famous. And it's also, they always look so much better before, and then they just transform into this monster. Like, what is that? During my senior year in high school, I performed at the Apollo Theater. When I was on the Apollo Theater at that stage, I was like, ah! She won that competition, and she was given a four years. Wait, she had a four-year tuition? Bro, like, we get to finally get her out of the hood. What the hell was that sentence? We get to finally get her. <laughs> we get to finally get her out of the hood. After being in college, it just wasn't for me. My niece decided that she wanted to drop out of school. If I was Chantelle's mom, I would have beat her ass and took her phone away from her, sent her back. 
See, I can do that. I'm happy to do it. I'm happy to do it. I'll pledge. I'll pledge. I hate that she calls herself Telly Zelly. I think it sounds so dumb. She reminds me of the Teletubbies with a mix of Sesame Street, if you guys remember the Telly character they had, who was the slow one. <laughs> Telly Zelly. I like this one. At least they have one person in the family that speaks common sense. <laughs> Her music is trashy. Beef never starving, but seven and in the apartment ain't sleep. A few weeks ago, my daughter went and did the unbelievable. She went and got a tattoo on her forehead oh, that said, suck my I was like completely freaked out. I'm Why would you do that? Why? Why? I'm still freaked out. Like, who does that? I think that my daughter's way too smart for the No, no, no. You don't just say, who does that? I'm freaked out. Who does that? No. You send her to the ranch. Right away, that's it. Shouldn't even have gone that far. Ranch, ranch, He's ranch. With decisions, Ow. but with this behavior, I might be wrong. Well, I'm glad you're here. <sighs> Thank you for having me. Yeah. So, how did you feel, Yolani, to first find out that your daughter, who had been a good student, had won medals, had won actually a four-year scholarship, full ride, right? Yes, sir. How did you feel when you found out she said, nope, dropping out, leaving it on the table, walking away? So what was really messed up is that she didn't tell me directly. I kind of find out through social media. So it's like a smack to the face. Olga, why do you think Telly had a hard time adjusting to college? From what she expressed to me, she said she wasn't a fan of the vibe and... <laughs> she failed the vibe check in school. Understandable. God damn it. What was going on in school? The vibe. The vibe. <laughs> the vibe. As in waking up and going to class vibe? Yes, as in waking up and going vibe. to class and mm -hmm. I guess everybody doing what they're supposed to do and everybody on this strict line. Right. Man, it's weird because in a way I can understand. I mean, I literally did the same thing. When I got into college, I wasn't, I wasn't, I was feeling the vibe. <laughs> I'll, I'll talk about my thoughts on this at the end. All right. It was just not what she wanted. She just couldn't swing that. Yes. Okay. But then she chooses to go the route that she's gone. I, I expected her to be writing speeches for people because that's, she's talented, but so. She's very articulate. She's very writing speeches for people? That sounds boring as sh Okay, so the reason behind uh, this change is because of her brother who's been influencing her. They're like the, your two last brain cells, basically. It's my left hand, my backbone, my right to die. Without my brother Josh, a lot of things would have not been possible. And everything going on with my family, I know that Josh would not even think twice to have my back. Josh, if you're watching this right now, bro, you already know the vibes. Gang, gang, one, I love you, two, but everybody else gotta think if you on my team, which I already know you are, and you gonna keep being there, bro. We going to the top, and you know I'm taking you with me. You know you're the only one. I love you. <laughs> what the f is that? Stop. Why does he look like a blowfish? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong. That's what I thought. She's very talented. So when it comes to my sister, Telly Zelly, she's a musical genius. Listen, musical I'm a young genius. Girl from the trenches. Yeah. Music is her natural. That's, yeah, that's some lyrical genius right there. No one's ever <laughs> said anything like that before. You're a manager, so let's look at her current yearly income from music. Um, Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. well, he's doing a it's great job. Not it's for okay. long, and that's not oh. for long. It's okay, y'all can laugh. Y'all can all laugh. Telly Zelly's gonna blow up, of course. <laughs> I mean. But you start, you gotta start It's somewhere. a sacrifice. Yeah. So it's a sacrifice. What are you sacrificing? Can we look at it from the bigger picture? I'm gonna become miserable because I'm not living happily like everybody else does when they live for other people. Oh God, live for other people. God damn it. So basically, when I didn't want to go uh, study the thing I was studying in school, I had a good degree. I mean, I had a good uh, future, but yeah, I, I didn't like it. It wasn't for me that, and I, I think that's fine to realize, but I got a job and I did both. <laughs> And if that if YouTube wouldn't have worked out after I don't know a year, I, I think I said I was gonna take a year. I would have just gone back to school. But these kids are depending on their parents, and for some reason the parents are paying for it, and then they become entitled about the whole thing. It's embarrassing to watch. It's like uh, being famous for a lot of people seems to be like uh, something they want to experience. Like everyone wants to know what that feels like. Everyone wants that 15 minutes so badly because you see it everywhere else. You're surrounded by it. It doesn't mean. Sh Listen to me. It doesn't mean sh 
Being famous is the most useless thing you can be. <laughs> it's not something you should strive to be. Being popular online used to be a, a recognition of doing something cool. But now people want to be recognized so badly, they'll do something negative even just to get recognized. And it's so pathetic. Like, how low will people go? Yeah, it blows my mind. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I didn't make any money on it. It doesn't matter. I don't care. I don't have to. Sure, I'll work for free. It doesn't matter. I don't have to. I like Dr. Phil. Buy the merch. Check out merch. Epic. Thank you. Thank you. Jeff la fun. You haven't played PewDiePie Pixeling yet. You clearly don't understand. The game is so great. Hold on to chairs. It might even make Tuber Simulator irrelevant. And it's free!